TFI is a kingdom ministry. I know we hear a lot about the kingdom of God and sometimes I think we just have rules, principles, uh, and ideas about the kingdom of God that's really not the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God is about a king, Jesus Christ, and his domain, his dominion. And TFI is about that. We are preaching the kingdom of God. You can never preach the kingdom of God without emphasis on the king. One day I was listening to Alan as he was teaching Alan Vincent, who is uh, a great mentor and one of the men who I call spiritual father. He talked about the kingdom. He said uh, the British Isles had formidable warriors in the days when Rome invaded the British Isles. He said the British were, of course he's British, but he said the British were more formidable fighters uh, than the Romans. They were just better at it and, and so strong uh, in stature. He said, but they'd never had a kingdom mentality. They didn't see themselves as one kingdom. They saw themselves as uh, people of a particular village. And he said they had a village mentality. And when uh, the general who was orchestrating that particular invasion noticed that they were formidable fighters, he had the idea of setting fire to villages. And whenever he was in a battle, he would send soldiers to burn the village. When the British fighters would see their village uh, burning, they would leave the battle and go put the fire out. And by leaving the battle, they were saying, we are not kingdom minded, we're gonna take care of our own. And so what happened was uh, Rome defeated the British. Why? Because they were more formidable, because Rome was stronger? No, not really. Because the British didn't have a kingdom mentality. When Brother Allen shared that, I had my understanding, I had my articulation, because I too felt that we were not, as Christians, kingdom-minded. We were denominational-minded. Uh, we were race-minded. We were ethnic-minded. We were everything except kingdom-minded. Many were speaking kingdom, but when they would act it out, it was something other than kingdom. And I thought, that's my articulation. And I believe that the churches of Jesus Christ around the world, many of them, and all Christian organizations, are just village-minded. They have a village mentality. A village mentality cannot do the work of God in this earth. A village mentality will not do it. We must be kingdom. And if we are kingdom first, not my nation first, but kingdom first, then I think without a doubt we will uh, express the will of God and do the will of God in the earth. Let's not be racially minded because we are one people. Let's not be gender-minded, I'm a man, but let's, let's say, as the Word of God says, there is no male or female. There is no slave or free. We're all one in Christ, and that's what uh, a kingdom mentality will bring to you. That's what a kingdom mentality uh, says to you, and that's, that is the only uh, mentality and attitude, I believe, that will change the world. TFI's main goal is Christ-centeredness. From the time I was a little boy, I would listen to messages, sermons, I would listen to people talk, and they often talked about God, but so often people don't really understand God in the sense that uh, the idea of God is so great. Maybe they have an idea of God that is strange to ours. Perhaps they worship false deities and they think we're talking about their God. So as a child even, I think I started to concentrate or think on Jesus Christ. And I know as a young adult, Christ was everything for me. He had saved me. He had changed my life so dramatically. I wanted to be Christ-centered. And when I read the scriptures, I would always see Jesus, and who he is, and what he had done for us. And initially, when I would uh, preach the gospel, I would always tell people who they were in Jesus Christ, who you are in Christ. That was almost every message I preached, who you are in Christ. And, and that was found in Ephesians. I had a 
lo a tremendous love for Ephesians. And then afterwards, I realized that in the book of Colossians, Paul taught us who Christ was in us. So I had two understandings. One is who Christ is in you and who you are in Christ. And I love those, those two. And what I would like to do and continue to do is to teach people about Jesus Christ. Really teach Christ, not so much about Him, but teach Christ uh, all aspects of His beauty and His glory. The scripture says that everything is made was made through Him. Everything that is made was made through Him. And without Him, nothing was made that was made. In Him is, was light, and that light was the light of men. And the light shined in the darkness, and the darkness did not comprehend or overcome it. So Jesus Christ, we find, is so essential. And I think He is not understood as He should be understood. A number of years ago, my wife was preaching at a women's conference in the nation of Kenya. And as she was preparing further, she was already prepared. She studies just so much. And I always tell her that when I, she finishes with her message materials, she will say something like, uh, oh, this is my message. I would say, oh, I could preach on that for three months. But, uh, so she, but she was in, in Kenya, and as she was continuing her study, she just felt like it wasn't enough. It wasn't right. She called me. It was rare that she would call. And in this phone call, she said, I need you to pray for me. I'm having difficulty. I'm not satisfied with my message. It's just not coming together as I want it to. Pray for me. And I said, okay. I will pray for you, and you're going to do just fine. And I said, no, no matter where you start in the Bible, and I said that because she loved the Old Testament characters. And I said, no matter where you start in the Bible, you get to Jesus as fast as you can. And that's what TFI is about, getting people to come to Jesus as quickly as possible. If you're teaching, get to Jesus as quickly as possible. In your life, in your understanding, your comprehension of God and what He desires, get to Jesus as fast as you can. And that's the emphasis of TFI. I would love for all of brothers and sisters to understand how important Jesus is. The Bible says with, without Him, nothing was made that was made. And so that's how important He is. Paul teaches us that, that it is Jesus Christ uh, who holds all things together. Or in another version, in Him all things consist. But they're all held together. That means this entire universe is held together by Jesus, through Jesus. Isaiah the prophet says, and the government shall be upon his shoulder. So it is an amazing reality that Jesus Christ is God's everything for everybody. Sometimes I've been told, um, I don't know if I could preach uh, uh, Jesus uh, as, as much as you do or as often as you do, I would run out of things to say. I said, oh, impossible. It is impossible because everything comes through Him. Everything is about Him. Uh, sometimes uh, we think that we have to say Jesus, Jesus to be preaching uh, Jesus, but we'll show Him, we can show Him rather, uh, to be everything when we teach uh, various things. As a matter of fact, I was in a particular nation and I was preaching on victory in Jesus and all these things that we have in Christ. And, uh, the, my host was a little bothered with me. He thought maybe I was somehow suggesting that his messages were not uh, Christ-centered. And I said to him, listen, fr my friend, whatever you ask me to do, I'm going to show you Jesus. I said, it doesn't matter what the subject is, I will show you Jesus. Uh, and this was uh, approximately 15 or 16 years ago. And I said to him, if you brought me to your place to teach your youth, you wanted to, have, to do a youth conference, I would show you how Jesus is the perfect template for youth. I would show you how Jesus was the perfect youth. At 12 years old, knowing that he is the son of God and that God is his personal father, uh, I said, went back home to Nazareth after Mary and Joseph found him uh, after three days of searching. They went, he went back home to Nazareth and submitted to imperfect people. I said, if you were 
to ask me to teach you on finances, I would show you how Jesus is the most frugal person and yet the most liberal person who multiplies two fish and five loaves, feeds a huge multitude, but didn't waste a thing. He said, it doesn't matter what subject, Jesus Christ is, is the real subject behind the subject. And so that's what I would like for you to know, is that yes, you can teach uh, on how to be a husband or how to be a wife using Jesus as your example, because Jesus is perfect in submission in the Godhead, but he is per perfect in authority in our lives, in the kingdom, in the church. So it is not like you have uh, nothing to preach about because all of the, Jesus is the Word of God. So all that you read in the scriptures is through Him. He is the Word of God. Jesus Christ is the Word of God in a body, in a human body. He is, he is the fullness of God. No one is the fullness of God but Jesus Christ. It pleased the Father that all of His fullness would dwell in the Son. It is so amazing. So if you understand Jesus, if you lay hold of Jesus Christ, he will change your life and the apprehending of Jesus Christ will be one of the best things that ever happened to you in, the, in the, your whole life. It will be, I say, one of the best things because the very person of Jesus Christ and then the apprehending of him uh, are, are almost one and the same. And so just understand uh, that TFI is here to serve, TFI is here to uh, broaden your understanding of Christ we're here to support you in your Christ-centeredness and in your journey with God through Jesus Christ.